Good evening, everyone. It's Michelle Hill with Southern Inspirations. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Happy Thursday evening and happy welcome to Inspiration in the Kitchen. I'm so excited to be here for the second episode with Southern Inspirations partner, D Champ Eats. So let me go ahead and welcome Daniel Champagne. Hey there, hey, Daniel. Everyone. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> Man, can you believe that two weeks kind of went by fast, didn't it? Yeah, yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. For um, sure. Well, y'all, I, I, Daniel and I were were chatting just a little bit before we got ready to go live, and we we're both like, "Well, Daniel actually said it. He's like, did we get a little aggressive tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we went from like orzo pasta salad." To a full blown catfish meal. Yes. Um, so yeah. anyway, we're, we're yeah. ready though. We are geared up. We have yeah. a comment, so I want to read that real quick. That's me. Oh, I that's you. Hey, <laughs> Are you <laughs> on top of it? Oh my gosh. Uh, so. um, okay, so everybody, um, as you probably know, D Champ Eat partnered with Southern Inspirations to bring you more content as it pertains to food and, you know, cooking and recipes and all of that. Um, Daniel and I both are self-taught, you know, I'm, I'll be the first to say I've not been to culinary school. That's one of those things that I wish I, you know, if I was doing something different, I would have got, you know, but I absolutely love to cook and um, have been doing it since I was very um, young. Daniel found his love for cooking in college. And so here we are um, just sharing with here you. We, we picked up in the kitchen and hopefully you will enjoy. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. So today is National Catfish Day. There is a national day for everything and I'm taking yeah. full advantage of catfish. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and it's a good thing that I like fish. So <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we can do that. <laughs> that's exactly right. So Daniel and I are making uh, two separate catfish plates. He picked mm -hmm. his, and then I picked one. So Daniel, go ahead. I know I posted it a little bit ago, but go ahead and share mm -hmm. um, what your catfish dish is tonight. Yeah. So tonight I am making blackened catfish. Um, I love blackened chicken, blackened fish. Um, I love all that kind of stuff. It kind of harkens back to some Cajun roots um, of mine. So I love blackened catfish. It's a good way to get delicious catfish without having to fry something. Um, and so it's flavorful. It's a little spicy. And so I've got that. And then I've got some asparagus with mushrooms that were roasting in the oven. And I've got some lemon that I'm going to squeeze over that in just a second. So that complements the lemon that goes with the catfish. And then I've got some potato wedges and I use a basic um, potato wedge recipe, but I added paprika this time because that complements the paprika in the blackened seasoning. So it all kind of ties together into one harmonious dish. Oh, it sounds just absolutely delightful. <laughs> and I was asking him before we went live too, did he make his blackened seasoning? And he said, yes. So yes. he will be sharing um, that recipe for the seasoning plus everything. You'll be able to find what I'll just call the full meal deal. Like he That's will right. out <laughs> on yes. the blog and post it. So everything yeah. that you guys see tonight, no worries. We will get it to you. You will be able mm -hmm. to find it. So that sounds delicious. I wish yes. I was there to <laughs> try the blackened catfish. But one so, day we'll be able to do this in the same kitchen. Exactly, exactly. And I'm excited about your dish too. You were telling me a little bit about it and I was like, uh, can I just come over and have you cook for me instead? <laughs> so what do you got rocking? Oh my goodness. So with that y'all, um, I am doing what I'll just call my version of catfish Lafitte as um, that's like a traditional Louisiana dish. Mm -hmm. And essentially it is a fried catfish, but it's a lighter fried catfish. Mm -hmm. It's in an egg and milk wash and flour, double duty, egg, flour, egg, back to the flour, you know. Oh yeah. It's much lighter than your traditional 
cornmeal fried catfish. Now, let me just stop right there for just a second. I love me a good catfish fry. Oh, yeah. I Absolutely. mean, fried catfish with coleslaw and sliced onion and hush puppies and fries and a big old glass of sweet tea, mm -hmm. hot sauce to, yes. with sauce all over that catfish. I'm all about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, there and especially with me being a Mississippi girl, y'all know being <laughs> Mississippi is the catfish capital of the world. I could not do this episode without mentioning that. Um, but you know, there are other ways to eat catfish. And so my catfish Lafitte, like like I mentioned, is that lightly battered, lightly fried, is still very delicate, about six minutes on each side is all it takes, and either a vegetable oil or an olive oil. And then I'm pairing that with garlic mashed potatoes. And I'm super excited tonight because I used the small red potatoes and left mm -hmm. skin on there, Daniel. Yes. 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 And we like our potatoes extra creamy. We want them fluffy, but we want them extra creamy. Mm -hmm. I use mostly whipping cream, but some half and half also. And I melt my butter and some several, like three or four full cloves of garlic. I stick them in the um, oven and mm. like, let that butter melt. And then that garlic softens up. Yes. So stick in the microwave my whipping cream half and half. I want all that to be really, really warm. Mm -hmm. Pour it over those potatoes when yes. I, you know, out of the boiler and into the strainer. All that is done. The potatoes are ready and in the oven. And then lastly, I have fresh roasted green beans. I've been on a green bean kick lately. So I bought fresh. Yeah. Um, I blanched them just very, very quickly because I wanted the extra, just that crisp, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm really, really soft, but sometimes I want that crisp. And so I blanched them and then I popped them in, the, in a 425 oven with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder for about 18 minutes. And oh my gosh, it was all I could do not to eat them all before it was time for this. That sounds delicious. <laughs> sounds delicious. Okay. So there are our dishes. Mm -hmm. um, See who else has commented before we get into this, because I know people oh, yeah. have to watch. Okay, yes. my friend Judy from Florida is watching. Hey, Judy, oh. hello, Judy, Judy from Florida. I'm from Florida. Yeah, <laughs> uh, meet Daniel. Uh, Daniel is originally from Florida, Judy, and he's been in Arkansas just a few years. Uh, Judy is in Pensacola, Daniel. Okay, yeah, she's my Familiar. high school buddy. That's so, awesome. Uh, my mother, Diane, is watching, too. Oh, hello, Diane. That's awesome. Yeah. My and I have some here. friends watching, too. So Awesome. Yeah, y'all yeah. please comment if you're watching. Mm -hmm. Oh, enough jibber-jabber for me. <laughs> <laughs> Judy says, hi, Daniel. All right, so where do we want to start? Um, I have got some – I know we're going to start with actually cooking our catfish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So – Tee up how you're going to cook yours. I'll just bounce it to you to get yours going, and then I'll get mine going. Yeah, absolutely. That'll give some time while you're chatting in okay. a little bit to, for the pan to heat up. But basically, I take my pan. Now, a lot of people, and I do it too, use cast iron. But for the purposes of having smoke in my face on a live video, I'm not going to use cast iron <laughs> this evening. Um, but I love cast iron. I have my cast iron handy always. But I have... We got these new green pans, so they're ceramic coated and nothing sticks to them and they're the best things ever. Um, so um, so I'm gonna heat my medium, medium high heat and I'm gonna put my oil in it. You don't wanna add your oil to a hot pan because then it gets it starts smoking. So add about two tablespoons of oil and let that heat up in the pan over medium heat. And then while that's heating up, I'm gonna um, add my seasoning to the other catfish fillet. I can show you the one that I already did. So there's a nice good coating on both sides of that catfish fillet. You want to get a good crust on there as it hits the oil. And so I'm going to do that to the other one. And then when the oil is ready, I'll lay them down away from me. So it doesn't splatter back at me. I'll lay them down away from me and cook them about four minutes each side because you want it to get blackened, but you also want it to cook all the way through. So I'll do that, flip it, and then it'll be done. So 
I'm going to let wow. this heat up and I'm going to pop them in there. Awesome. All yeah. right. While you're working on that, I will bounce over and let y'all know what I'm doing. I'm going to have to kind of take this computer with me. There you go. Rated. You're not an influencer if you're not bringing your computer or your phone with you. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Cream sauce out of the way because I've already got it ready. Oh, you just moved that over to my house. And I'll, I'll take care of that. I know. We are going to have to get to that point where we can do this together. Yes. In Okay, so y'all, I mentioned um, that I already have a couple of pieces of catfish fried. I reserved one to fry for our live. And so I already do have um, my grease in the pan. I turned it off. I am using um, cast iron because this is just such a quick, that no, no smoke in the face for, for how I'm doing mine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I use Teflon a whole lot. Daniel and I have talked about, and the, and the ceramic, we talk a lot about um, different cookware. So mm -hmm. I think whatever you have works, you know, is, yeah. you know, just whatever you have. So, yep. you know, wash my hands real quick. Get, um, just a little warmer. And then y'all, what I've done is I have an egg wash. This is egg and milk and salt and pepper and some red pepper flakes okay so i've got my catfish filet in there that i had reserved for the show and then this is just flour okay and you know honestly i can i have self-rising on hand so i use self-rising you know all per for this if you have whichever if you have all-purpose or self-rising really just whichever one you have on hand will be fine um mm -hmm add a little more salt and such to your um, all-purpose. But I went from the egg wash to the flour and then back to the egg wash because you want that first mm -hmm. flour to stick on there. Back yeah. to the flour and my oil is almost ready and I'll be ready yeah. to stick in there. And my pan's almost ready as well. <laughs> Hey, we're timing this out. Now on the oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ceramic heats up very quickly. Yes, it does. So I'm going to just another second and I'm going to reach over here and rinse all this. Look at that flour in Perfect. there. I'll all put my fillets in while you wash off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Going down. There we go. Hello, Paige Shepard. I see you commented. There we go. I'll get my, my headphone close to there. You can hear the sizzling of the fish. All right. All right. I'm with clean hands. There you um, go. Let me just say mostly clean. A little bit of a disclaimer. I feel like I always have a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working on this chalk painting project for a mm -hmm. customer, and I was determined to get it to a certain point today. And so I was out there painting in the garage for just a couple of hours, and I had kind of a hard cutoff at 4 o'clock. And so about 3.45, I knew I was getting close. And so I rushed in to change clothes and wash all the white chalk paint off of me. And then about 10 minutes, I don't know if it's still there or not. Anyway, I saw a chalk paint mark on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see chalk paint in my hair or on my arms or whatever, it's because I've been out in the garage. Uh, right. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The kind of an artist at work. Yeah. Good. So I am going to put my filet in. Y'all, if you want to use tongs, you use tongs. But in my kitchen, when it's me, I use my fingers. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I put it in there. Absolutely. Got a little sizzle going already. Oh, my, my, my. Is it looking good? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. We got some black in. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, y'all, please friends. let us know um, if you have any questions about anything as mm -hmm. you're watching, because we definitely want to be able to answer those. Yes. I'm going to turn my vent on just a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too loud. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it kind of low. My vent has two settings, loud and louder. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh, man. So, Daniel, I have a quick question for you. Okay. Do you love, like, just all your rags as you're cooking? You know, just how many rags do you normally cook for? Just to <laughs> as you're cooking? So I use my apron. But then yeah. we have a couple towels that I'm always grabbing for. Yes. Sometimes I'll throw one over the t the shoulder. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lots yeah. of laundry after I cook. Yeah, us too. Gotta have it. Gotta have yeah. it. Yeah. Checking out this one. I'm going to just dump out this egg wash. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> and had a little smoke there, but it's all good. <laughs> so Dave, right. do you do most of the cooking at home? What? Do you do most of the cooking at home? You know, my wife and I split a lot. Jill loves to cook. So that was one of the things that we loved to do while we were dating, is we'd have each other over and cook. Um, and so we love to cook, so she'll cook quite a bit and then there'll just be like a streak where i'm like i'll cook every day this week and i'm like let's go and then we we'll get into like a rhythm you know here and there so oh, how like to split it. so yeah it's That's fun awesome. yeah well, I do most of my husband likes to and he likes trying um different things on the grill <laughs> yeah so We'll tag team that, and we are, we have too many grills, I think. We have a green egg, and we have a charcoal. We have a PK grill that's right here from us on charcoal grill. Yeah. And then we do have a gas grill, but we don't use it very often, because that charcoal is just wonderful. Yeah, I love charcoal. We have a gas grill. I like to grill. I grilled for Father's Day. When it comes to grilling, I'm the grill master. So, oh my everybody. goodness! So I saw that steak. Was that a filet? <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah, so I always want steak on Father's Day, and since I'm the griller, I'm out there. But I usually just use like a seasoning blend. You know, you don't need a ton on a good steak. But right. then I was like, I want some shrimp cream sauce. So let's do it. And I went after it. So let's go. <laughs> so speaking of cream sauce, y'all, I'll go ahead and tell you about the one that um, I've made tonight. By the way, I just flipped my catfish. Um, I, I, I mentioned about six minutes on each side, but I usually, if it's starting to get a little golden brown at like mm -hmm. four minutes, I'll go ahead and flip it and then I'll flip it. Yeah. So no, no more than about 10 or 12 minutes. Um, so mm -hmm. you cook it and so it's moist and flaky and, and all of that and has that yep. nice little golden brown um light crust but for cream sauce um i have that in a separate pan just because of the cooking show and i wanted to have it ready but normally what you would do is just after you're finished um frying your catfish and that egg wash and that you know the flour mixture that i took mm -hmm. reserve some of your drippings and then mm -hmm put your um saute some some onion now tonight i'm using green onion but sometimes i use you know a yellow onion purple onion whatever hat purple yeah. red, call it purple onion but yeah purple. right <laughs> <laughs> we won't debate that but um you know your onion and whatever else your garlic um tonight i'm using mushrooms green onion and um roasted red pepper just because i want it sounds really good Love roasted red pepper and all that be so good. Yeah. Just pick that up and then add your heavy whipping cream or your half and half, whatever you have, and your chicken broth. And Daniel mentioned this um, for the cream sauce that he did on top of his steak. It's really personal preference as far as how you like. Well, I didn't, I skipped the part. Do your roux. I skipped the whole flour part. Ding, ding, ding. Make your roux first to get mm -hmm. to create. 
of your base and your thickness, you can still thin it down. Yep. It's as you, you know, personal preference. But get your yep. room just like you would do a gravy. And then add um, your chicken broth and your um, heavy whipped cream or half and half to get to the consistency that you, that you want. And so right now, my, I've done all that and have mushrooms in it, but I have not, I have reserved the green onions and the um, garlic and the roasted red pepper. I've not put in there yet because I just don't want them to cook very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really want just want to, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I'll dump it right over the catfish. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll show you. Uh, black and these—they cooked a little bit faster than the recipe normally calls for. I had them higher, but they—they've uh, got that nice black crust on there. It's gonna be nice and crispy and spicy and delicious. So, I got that finished. Finished a little faster than I planned, but hey, that happens in the kitchen sometimes, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to smoke, but mine's starting to smoke a little bit. I think yeah. I had, while well, I had previously used this oil, so you mm -hmm. know, before you use the oil, but um, really what I did is I took just a couple more minutes and this will be ready. Yeah. And I'm going to just take it off and put it over to the side and then I'll be ready pretty much to start um, plating since I had the fish ready. Yeah. Let's our veggies yes absolutely so i did i love asparagus i honestly i like when asparagus is thinner but they only had thicker um but so we grabbed some of the asparagus they had at the store and for us when we go to do our asparagus you know the ends can be really tough and if you take a stalk of asparagus and start to bend it it naturally breaks at the point like the tougher part meets the tender part. And so you just snap them. And so then you toss it with some sliced mushrooms and sprinkle salt and pepper on the on the um, the pan and pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. So they're kind of sitting in the warm oven right now. And then when they come out, I'm going to hit them with a splash of lemon juice to yeah. kind of tie into the seafood. And it goes with the, you know, the asparagus. And then I love the mushrooms because it kind of gives that earthiness that this really bright dish needs yeah. um and so i have those and we love mushrooms in my house all the time so yeah. always and then my potato wedges basically you slice a potato into eight wedges a russet usually is what we use um, and we toss it with oil and this is uh, i did fresh garlic salt pepper and then i added paprika this is one of those like hey here's a blank canvas of potato <laughs> add whatever flavors you want and then yep. pop it in the oven, roast them for 30 to 35 minutes until the fork goes through and they're yep. done. So super easy. I love the idea that like you can prep and throw two things in the oven and not have to worry about them while you're focusing on your, your meat, you know, because um, it can get squirrely if you're trying to make fish and not overcook it. So, um, so it's yeah. nice to just throw them in the oven. So. All right. I'm getting this, uh, hot smoky oil out of the canvas. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> let it cool down some. Um, yeah. Let me see. I want y'all to see how gorgeous a color um, this has. So let me grab a plate and yeah. put that on there. And then I'm going to pop my cream sauce over to this burner and kind of get it ready to put those other items in there. Yes. I'll play it up like well, yeah, here. All about seasonings, didn't I, Daniel, and my cream sauce? Oh, yeah. Did I, mention, I didn't mention seasonings, did I? No, uh, I don't think so. I love playing with seasons. Mm hmm. Um, trying out just different flavors, so I might not necessarily make it the same every single time. Mm hmm. Tonight, I use um, fresh ground, pepper, kosher salt, red pepper flakes. And a little bit of Old Bay. Ooh. So use with your shrimp and your crab. I'm like, Ooh, I think I'm going to give it just a little kick that I want. I love the flavor of Old Bay. Yes. And Tony Sacheries. Tony Sacheries is just a go to. And then, of course, I've got my fresh um, garlic in there. Yes. All that goodness. Mm hmm. So I'm hitting this asparagus with some lemon juice. I do it at the end because 
sometimes it gets really bitter if it's cooking too long in the oven. So yeah. I don't want necessarily want that to happen. So, so I do that and kind of toss it at the end. And then my potatoes are nice and golden and they'll have a crispy edge on the outside. So my kids were very excited before they left to go run an errand that I was making <laughs> potatoes because they oh. love potatoes in all forms. <laughs> wow. All forms. Oh. So. All right, well, I'm taking a piece of this catfish. Yeah. And see how that's just a nice, pretty golden brown? That's beautiful. <laughs> yes. And it's just, a, like I said, just a light, fluffy crust so that it's not too heavy. Mm-hmm. All right, so I've kind of got that on one side of the plate. I'm going to go ahead and dump. This is my roasted red peppers that I took straight out of the jar and just cut up my fresh green onion and my garlic. Um, and I'm gonna dump it straight into the cream sauce that already has my mushrooms in it. There you go. Because literally all I want it to do is kind of warm up and I want those green onions to wilt a little bit, mm -hmm. but not be completely cooked, y'all. It's gorgeous. Oh, mm -hmm. I get to this too. Um, Sometimes when I make this, I will add either shrimp or crab meat to this yes. for my cream sauce. But we did our big um, crab leg and shrimp bowl over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, well, I'm just going to skip that. I, I can do without it. I stood there in Kroger today looking at the crab meat and like, oh, maybe I should buy it. <laughs> So our crawfish would work, you know, so if you want to add a seafood to your sauce to put on top of the catfish, you can certainly do that. Um, let me see if y'all can. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can you see the colors in that, Daniel? Cool. Can um, I dive through my computer right into there? <laughs> I know, right? I just want to like. sound and oh. looks delicious. All right. It looks so good. Beans out of the oven. All right, I want to say hi to Pat. Pat is on the chat. Pat is watching. She is a good friend of our family. Um, so she has been a longtime friend of my mom and of us, and she loves my family. And so it was good. It's good to have her watching with us. Thank you for watching, Pat. Yes. And then mom says she wish she was here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'll see you tomorrow, but I can't promise that I'm going to make it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. All right. I took my green beans out of the oven. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So when I roast green beans, mm -hmm. I like them to get that little bit of a char. Oh yeah. Brownish, black. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I was literally like picking them up and eating them earlier. Yes, I, I do. I do asparagus on the grill pan a lot, and it gives it that good char that I oh love. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Yeah. And I'm going to get my potatoes out. I'm going to get everything ready, so I'll have mm -hmm. it plate for you guys. Yes. And these potatoes, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we make garlic mashed potatoes every year for Thanksgiving. And we actually make them in the pressure cooker. Oh, do tell. Because the pressure cooker, you slice of all your potatoes, pop them in with water, and you just set it and walk away. And after it re reaches pressure, seven minutes. Perfectly tender potatoes. And then... And, uh, you mean like the Instapot or the old-fashioned pressure so we, Yeah, so we had an electric pressure cooker, and then now we have an Instant Pot. So same thing. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So we do it in that, and it's... Fantastic. And we do what you do. Like we heat up all the stuff yeah. that goes in it. So that's all hot when it mixes together. It is the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It is the I best. I turned that a hood off. So hopefully y'all can hear me better now. <clears throat> um, okay. I'm ready to plate. Are you ready to plate? I got my plate. You were busy finishing your up. <laughs> And I you just, you're like, I'm ahead of you. Hey, okay. it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get my utensils and get a, you go ahead and I'll get Yeah, my, while you plate up. 
Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I love I'll just show this little plate. Big <gasps> plate. Walk away. I have to look. Yeah. Well, there you go. So we got some asparagus right there with the mushrooms. And we got that blackened, beautiful catfish. And we got those crispy potato wedges. And I'm going to wait until you try yours to try mine. But it's going to be really hard to wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> So I have got the potatoes are right here that I've had in the oven and I've mm -hmm. got some green beans over to the side. And so I'll judge all my catfish. So I'm taking, oh, these are so creamy. I'm taking a big old scoop. You know what? Yeah, that'll work. Here's <laughs> potatoes. I'm oh, just yeah. putting it down on the plate. I mean, it'll be pretty. Mm -hmm. Popping it down right there on that plate. Okay. And then I'm going to take a few green beans. Let me get a. Let me get some. Uh, one of these potatoes. Get some tongs. Get some tongs. And I'm going to pick up these mm. yummy green beans, and I'm going to kind of put over a little bit on top of my potatoes, a little bit on top of my fish. Oh. So, um, there's my fish. Hello, do y'all do y'all even see my? Okay, y'all can see that good. There's my fish. My green beans are kind of over my potatoes and my fish, and it looks beautiful. Part of the sauce. I'm gonna take a big scoop of this sauce, and I'm gonna do right over this fish right here. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> that is so wrong. And then I'm gonna go. Oops, a little bit got off. Um. <laughs> so now the completed plate, catfish Lafitte, oh. a Michelle version um, with garlic, so good. mashed potatoes and green beans. Now, while you were plating, I ate one of my potatoes because I just I thought I heard you smacking. <laughs> yeah, it was delicious. It was delicious, but I'm ready to try some catfish. Are you ready okay. to try some catfish? Yeah, so I gotta find my fork. Here's my fork. Are we <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right. There we go. I'm gonna get closer to the camera here. I'm gonna take like a really big bite with all <laughs> the goods in it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna so I've got cut off some of this catfish. Oh. I have sauce. I have potatoes. Yeah, squeeze lemon. I almost forgot lemon. Gotta squeeze that lemon. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I got a big green bean in here. Yeah, this is a big bite. But everybody tells me I have a big mouth, so I can handle it. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. This blackened catfish is so good. There's a spice to that. Hand each other our plates, like, through the... Yeah. <laughs> I know, seriously. Would that work? <laughs> These like, poor friends yeah. at home that can't eat this with us. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I mean, wrong now just to keep eating and all our, our folks having to watch. It's true. But, man... <laughs> That is good. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. We can we high five? Yeah. <laughs> How do we do this? How do we do there this? We go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we did it. Yes. We yes, pulled we did all it. of our dishes. Um yeah. good thing y'all can't see my sink with all the dishes piled up. <laughs> that have got to be washed now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The um, behind the scenes of all this live <laughs> stuff, man. Right, yeah. You know, yep. when we make it big, Daniel, we're going to have people running around the Food Network kitchen after us. I love it. I love it. Yes. I will say Jill helped me prep some things, so she is part of my crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, thank perfect. you, Jill. Yes. Uh, well, this was so much fun. I know we are ready um, to eat. Yes. We should be there any moment. And my husband is just waiting for the word for permission to come back inside. <laughs> yeah. My, my family's probably hanging outside waiting to come in. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, so, I saw my mom commented. I saw Pat commented again. All the friends. So. And everybody's saying, like, no fair, no fair. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. Funny. All right. Well, Thank you, Daniel. It's been yeah. an episode. I know. It was so fun. We're learning, and it's, it's a lot of fun to learn together. Yes, so. it absolutely is. So, well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
weeks. We have no idea at this point what we're making, um, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> yep. And we'll have a good time. That's exactly right. We'll have a good time and make something good. So everyone, yeah. have a wonderful evening, and we'll see yeah. you next time. Bye, y'all. See y'all. Bye.